Hey everybody, this is John Bonick, 50 Plus Pastor. I want to give you a quick update. We have new people who are coming into 50 Plus asking about things that are going on, how they can be connected and so on. I'd like to address that and then also some things we're doing. Right now we are missing uh, an assistant in our department. It will be short term and we'll have someone joining us soon. But that has stopped a few of our normal activities, especially like the beginning of the year activity where a bunch of us just get together to, to know each other. In lieu of that, there are many things that 50 plus is doing where new people and of course you who are already here can be involved and get to demonstrate the love of Jesus flowing through your lives. Uh, at Harvest Fest, we have generational blessings. On Friday, September 22nd, from 3.30 to 5.30 in the Dogwood Rooms, down at the end by the Grand Ballroom. Please join us. I will be sending out some more information, but if you can be on the Generational Blessings team, let me know. If you've never done Generational Blessings before, at 3.30 to 4, we'll just review what to do and how to love people. And if you want me to even send out an outline of how we do things for Generational Blessings that have blessed literally thousands of people over the years who have come to Morningstar, uh, I will send you that information. Just email us at 50 plus office at mstarm.org and I will email you that. Also, if you can be a generational blessing on that Friday from 3.30 to 5.30 in the Dogwood Rooms, please uh, email me and let me know that, know that you can do that. Another thing that is going on is Heavenly Hosts. I already met with the MSU students and they are filling out forms about uh, who they are, what they like, and other information so that a uh, father or mother in the Lord can be a heavenly host to them. When I was talking to them about a week ago during their boot camp, one of the students uh, got rather emotional when he was uh, sharing what the heavenly host meant to him. He said, I didn't have a father. And this spiritual father who's covering me as a heavenly host makes all the difference in the world. So you, whether you're married or single, I, is, I strongly encourage you to adopt an MSU student. What do you do? Uh, once a month, you maybe give them a prophetic word, or you'll take them to lunch, or you'll say hi to them, uh, buy them something for their birthday, give them something for Christmas, uh, oh, a $10 gift card to a local restaurant or something. Love them, love them, love them, and of course, intercede, pray, and cover them you make greater difference in their lives than you might imagine. As you have been heavenly hosts, many of the students have stayed stable in the Lord and grown in their identity and were more fully prepared to leave as a man or woman of God. And it was because of you sowing into their lives. Consider being a heavenly host. Another thing we do is called the Gabriel Project, where a 50 pluser once a month or so will be in one of the elementary classroom rooms at Comedia School for Creative Leadership, our K-12 school. We have six or seven openings for 50 plusers to be in a classroom with a teacher. Maybe the students will prophesy to you. Uh, maybe they'll ask you some questions. The teacher might ask you to explain something from the past. We need all generations to connect. And you being like a grandparent type, just being there will make a tremendous different to, difference to students you don't even realize. Uh, some who aren't in happy homes or don't have their grandparents or are longing for a connection or just can relate to future generations. If you would like to be a, a part of the Gabriel Project at CSCL, please again, email me that at 50 plus office at mstarm.org, and I will work to connect you with Sandy Woods uh, in, in what we're doing there. All of this is part of what we call the Malachi Project. When Chris Reed brought me back on staff, he said, John, I have one project for you, and that is to connect the generations. And I call that the Malachi Project. 
connecting the hearts of the fathers to the sons and the sons to the fathers. That is our generation to their generation and back. And I know the Holy Spirit is doing that. And I know Chris Reed carries that anointing and burden also. So we enter in together in unity in what the Father's calling all of us together at Morningstar to do. And we call it the Malachi Project. One more thing that we're doing, it's called Sons Rising, where where fathers are bringing their sons into what they call being a modern day knight. And some of us 50 plusers will stand with them and pray for them and represent the older generation as, the, as these fathers and sons meet once a month. The first meeting for that will be on October 1st for them. And I'll give you more detail on that as time goes on. Another way of connecting is with the men's breakfast, uh, the second and fourth Thursday of each month at eight o'clock in the morning. And also we want to continue doing the ladies latte once a month. And I'll have more details on the ladies latte as we have some help in place. But the men's breakfast is the second and fourth Thursday at 8 a.m. The second Thursday, that is September 14th at 8 a.m. will be in the partner's lounge so that some of the heritage community people who don't have the ability or the access to Chatty Cathy's at that time in the morning can come and join us so it's more handy for them. So the second Thursday of the month at 8 a.m., the men's breakfast is in the partner's lounge. The fourth Thursday of each month at 8 a.m., the men's breakfast is at Chatty Cathy's as we've had in the past. Guys, come and join us. Uh, we'll have some fresh coffee in the partner's lounge and yeah, I'll bring some donuts or something. We'll have something to nibble on. And all we do is talk and love each other. Come and join us the second and fourth Thursday at 8 a.m. And you ladies, we'll give you more information on the ladies latte that you guys can get together to as women of God. Next January, we have tentatively scheduled a very large special 50 plus event, which includes all of us for maybe a day or two uh, with special speakers, everything designed specifically for 50 plusers. Watch for more of that information uh, in the days ahead if we can uh, get that to happen at the end of January of this year. And we will see if we can do more uh, having a larger gathering uh, sometime this fall when I have an assistant to help put some of the social things and other connections together. If you have any questions for us, just email me at 50plusoffice at mstarm.org and we'll see how we can make some connections happen. You know, I love you guys. And the Father has brought us all here on purpose. Every one of you has a story of how God brought you here. We know God brought us here and he didn't bring us to a wasteland. He brought us he brought us into a promised land, a fertile field that we are going to plant, sow, and see blessings grow. And you get to do it. I stand with you in it. Hope to see you soon.